Hey folks, I'm Mike. Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this blog ad free. Hello and welcome to Inkdependence.com. This is going to be a bit of an, uh, a different sort of uh, video for us. Uh, I'm going to show a quick tutorial on how to make uh, the chromatography strips that I do for my ink reviews because that's been requested a couple of times. So here are the things you're going to need. Uh, you'll need something to hold water. I use a little uh, crystal inkwell uh, slash candlestick holder slash whatever because it looks nice on camera and uh, I don't know, you can put water in it. That's really all you need. It could be a shot glass, could be whatever. Uh, you're also going to need uh, these. These are coffee filters. I prefer using the cone coffee filters because they're usually a little bit thicker, and I think that works better for showing off the uh, the color gradients in chromatography strips. So you'll need some of these. Uh, they're pretty cheap. Uh, these are market pantry from Target, but you can get them uh, just about anywhere else. I would get the white ones, not the brown ones, for obvious reasons. All right. Let's take those over here. Uh, you'll need a pair of scissors because you'll need to cut up those coffee filters. You're not going to use a whole coffee filter. I, mean, I guess you could use a whole coffee filter in theory, but I don't know why you would. Uh, you'll need a pen. Uh, I use a ballpoint. You could also use a pencil, I suppose, uh, but I think ballpoints are better for this kind of work because what you want to do is be able to write on that coffee filter, uh, make it a fine point ballpoint. So those are essentially the things you're going to need. Now to record it, uh, you're probably going to want some kind of recording dev device. For me, that's an iPhone. Uh, and you want to have something to hold that recording device. For me, that's this weirdo thing. Let me zoom, let me bring that back out a little bit. This is uh, something I got off of Amazon. I forget what it's called, but it's just basically a, this like clamps onto the table. The other end holds the phone, and you can manipulate this like wire-filled arm thing, and that will hold your camera at the desired place. And then I use a sort of time-lapse function on the iPhone to do that. Uh, you could just use your regular camera if you want, uh, but I tend to use the iPhone just because uh, it's got a time-lapse function built in, and it's pretty good. So uh, I don't, you know, I don't have any problem using that. Okay, so let's uh, cut up a coffee filter into the appropriate sort of shape. Get out of here, pencil. Get out of here, big box of these. All right. So what I like to do is cut along the bottom and then cut along this seam that's crimped. And you have a whole bunch, you can get rid of this over there. And then you have this, which folds out. And so now you have a whole bunch of possible chromatography paper. Now you can buy, um, you know, chromatography paper if you want. Uh, I never buy chromatography paper on like Amazon or whatever because uh, it's more expensive and I don't know that it's really better. Now, I tend to use shorter chromatography strips. There's no particular reason why. In fact, for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and use the full full length. But in general, I'll sort of cut it, fold it in half, and then cut it here, and I'll have two. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and use a long one because, hey, why not? Might as well. All right, so there's that. Now, the pen is for writing the name of the ink at the top, is what I do. Uh, this is going to be Lamy Petrol. There we go. Boom, Lamy Petrol written at the top. So this, don't need this anymore. See, fountain pen folks, sometimes a ballpoint comes in handy because if you use a fountain pen for this, well, it's just going to have the same ink and if it gets wet, it'll, you know, go away. All right. So here's this. Oh, you also need a light source. I'm using a big lamp up here-ish. Uh, and then I've got this, which is kind of a reflectory sort of thing. Also, it blocks the utter mess that is the rest of my desk. So uh, there we go. All right, you stay there. Okay, so I'll set up my camera. Well, secondary camera, which is this guy, to film. Let's see, we'll get it uh, yeah, fixed up right. Yeah, there we go. This is pretty good. Okay. Scroll down to time lapse. There we go. Uh, I also like using this little pen rest because this little pen rest I can set right here and I can set the pen on it and that gives it something, you know, something else in the frame uh, just for funsies. So for this pen, I had it in a Lamy 2000. Uh, I've got it in a Faber Castell Andoro and I've actually got it in a third pen, which is, I don't know, not at hand right now for some reason. I don't know where it is. Anyway, we'll use the Lamy 2000 because why not? All right. So. Uh, what I will do, oop, I will kick over this one. <laughs> okay, cool. So, what I will do is I will hit record on my time lapse thing. And you've actually got plenty of time in the time lapse because uh, it's a pretty quick time lapse and uh, it records pretty well. So, I gotta get my arm through all my accoutrement. Here we go. I'm actually making a video at the same time, so. 
we got you just draw a line down here. Some people will draw a line sort of uh, on the paper with, <laughs> that's not going to stay. All right, you'll go there. Okay, good. All right, <laughs> some people will draw a line down here with a pencil or something just to make sure that they know where it was. Uh, I don't generally do that because you don't generally don't need to. Uh, you can sort of see already where the ink started. Very few inks are, um, uh, you know, water faster, I guess, lack the water resistance necessary to see where it actually began. And what I want to do, and I, maybe you can see this in the video, and maybe not, is you, I just stick the end of the, the chromatography strip we're using here, our coffee filter, uh, in the water, and I'll wait, uh, I don't know, 10 or 12 seconds usually, and you pull it out, and then there. Now I'm holding it a little bit off kilter because as I said, I'm actually recording this uh, on my iPhone. This is going to be one that I'm going to use in a video. So I'm killing two birds with one stone here essentially. And I'll hold this for a while. My arm might get tired. Some people have rigged up like little chromatography strip holding, you know, devices with like a gator clip and a, uh, you know, those things like it's got a little block and you can put like photographs in it with a gator clip. So that might work for this. Um, and I might hold a little bit steadier than my hand because sometimes my hand gets a little tired or, you know, the wind blows or something. But um, anyway, this is essentially how you do it. And actually, after I uh, finish holding it for video, when I see it, you know, kind of has stopped moving ink, I, uh, I'll i hang it up on a lamp with a little, um, like a clothespin thing. And then uh, it'll, you know, it'll dry out fairly quickly because it didn't really soak up all that much water in the few seconds I had it in there. And, uh, you know, it, uh, you know, just dries. All right, so that's it. That's how you do chromatography with, uh, you know, for video. See you later. Peace out. If you liked this tutorial, you got something out of it, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment below, and hey, if there's a tutorial that I haven't done yet, and uh, it probably is, you can go ahead and request a tutorial. Tell me what you want to see me do, and I'll try to do it. Peace out.